Off unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. On first and ten, here's Wentz. He completes it to Westbrook. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the gun, it's wins. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 43. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Throwing now is Wentz. Going to take a shot for Gallup. This is caught inside the 15. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time, but it's going to be second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, he'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Brings up third down. Here we go, here we go. Waiting. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. 57. On third and long, it's Wins. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 30 yards there, and of course the first down as well. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. J.J. Artega Whiteside there to make the grab. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Excellent start there. First drive of the season, big-time success, putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. here back to his own 18 that's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down and on this play the read for the quarterback was the defensive end and he was totally focused on the quarterback he should have given it off inside to the running back instead he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play
So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Second and 13. Backs into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And the ball is knocked out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. They're ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he'll score! Touchdown! And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch him out a little bit. Pressure and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That makes them now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that culminated touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now, they have to feel great about their opportunity. 
A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Shotgun now for Wentz. Catch is made by Arcega right side. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. And it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now a play fake here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The DN, Jonathan Allen, making sure his presence is felt. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. They'll try to left side. Westbrook. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Here we go, here we go. He can't hang. He's not going to get me. Wentz going to throw. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he'll get up to the 43. Three yard line. A big gain on the play, but it leads to fourth down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They do go for it. It's Wentz. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. Mission accomplished on that throw. Slant, pick up the first down. I like how he just put it on the receiver. It didn't lead him on that one. Happened quickly. Defense, not much they could do. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Room here to run. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there. 39 yards. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here, or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Seven yards there and a first down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They're going to look to throw. Got a man, that's Quinn. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. 
They go play action here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Look at me. Go on, go on. Back to throw now on second and ten. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Back to throw here. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. That is caught inside the five. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. A 15-yard touchdown grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point from McManus is good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29. Coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing opening weekend in the NFL. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now wins. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Whoa. He just yanked that one well to the left. And no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. That throw good for four. It's second down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Second and six. 
And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They'll look to throw here. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this punt goes out of bounds and it'll be marked inside the 40. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Wentz now on first down. On the left side, Gallup's got it. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And he completes it to Westbrook. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this. Or keeps hitting the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Wentz now to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Carson Wentz. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. Uh, we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. This quarterback now, 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. Dancing to his left. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Fielded about a yard deep. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy. 
because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. On the ready. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what a jump. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Craven LeBlanc with a pick. Boy, so another interception, CD. It feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Throwing on second and three. Wentz letting one go deep. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. J.J. Arthega Whiteside. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions and coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there this time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. It's a gain of a yard. Let's go now. 15, 15 miles. They're going to need some therapy after this. Smooth. Look at me. Zipper. Oh, here we go. Oh. 54 Mike, 54 Out of the gun now on third down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. He'll set up to throw. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Second and five. Being chased. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes. If they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback, they've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. On first down, Westbrook. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Westbrook. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. First down. 
And this is going to be intercepted. Monte Nicholson picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this D, particularly the secondary, has been picked apart at points here tonight. They finally, though, get to the quarterback, get a pick. And we know this about him. He loves night games, loves the spotlight, loves being the center of attention. I will bet you that he ran off the field almost chuckling to himself. They finally got one. They finally got me. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Second and ten. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, there's a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. Deep ball, short ball. That was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. Now back to throw. Buying time to his left. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and two. And incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll set up a throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Fletcher Cox in there for a milestone sack as that moves him past Hall of Famer Michael Strahan, who finished his career with 141 and a half. And the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Right back to him on first down. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run. Sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Second and five now. Wentz. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Off the edge, the sack by Matt Ioannidis. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Here's Wentz to throw. Open man is QT complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 34-yard line. 
Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we're thinking about sportsmanship and all that. Other people are thinking about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. That's caught by his tight end, Uzoma. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. But well, a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. They'll keep it on the ground. Westbrook. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Wentz now on third and goal. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Whenever you see a team deciding to throw the ball in third and one, as a defensive player, my mindset is we've got them now, and that's why they dialed up the blitz and got after them. But occasionally, you want to pass it on third and one. I mean, not a lot, for sure, but sometimes just to keep the defense guessing. Oh, no doubt. You want to break tendencies as you go along with the game because you don't want them to just say, oh, third and one, we know exactly what they're going to do. But in this situation, as an offensive lineman, as a running back, I'd want to know why I didn't get the football. Field it about a yard deep. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. 49, check 49, check 49. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. You're trash, you're trash. Watch safety creep, watch safety creeping. Safety's creeping. Tighten up, tighten up, The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here we go, here we go. 30 base. What's the run? They're running it. Two. On play action, they'll throw. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A Redskin first down to pick up 15 yards. And the Redskin first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Fletcher Cox make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. That right now. That's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down again. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lock behind it. Wow. The Eagles take over first and 10. Let's go, the 20 yard line. 
Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Here's Sam Martin now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's this message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo going. Scoreboard.